Germany? Germany. Whether you're going there for the beers at Oktoberfest, Christmas markets, or you've watched our video last time we filmed in Germany, then here are the tips and things you should know about Germany before going there. Number one. Bring cash. This might not apply everywhere, but you definitely need to bring cash with you when you go to smaller towns. I mean like some smaller shops don't even have a cash machine. So to save yourself from walking out disappointed from a store that you want to buy something from, bring some cash. Tips though, if you can withdraw money before you're heading to smaller towns, that would be a bonus because some smaller towns don't even have that many cash machines. Like Brolange, Brolange, Bron Lodge, Bron... Large. They only have two to three cash machines and that's about it in the whole town. Can you imagine other smaller, smaller, smaller towns? Number two, DB app. It's called, okay, I'm gonna try to pronounce this. Do, do, che, do, che. I don't speak German, so I'm gonna call it Duce Bahn. It's a train company that runs throughout the whole Germany. You can buy your train tickets from Bahn.com or you can easily download a mobile app called DB Navigator app to check for train times and anything like that. Pretty much, it works the same way as Great Western Railway app. If you use this app alongside Google Maps, you will never get lost ever again. At least I hope not. Number three, be prepared to pay for water. This is important for someone who's always thirsty. Not in that way, kids. What I mean is thirsty for water. In Germany, people don't drink water from the tap. Don't really know why, but they just don't. So if you're in a restaurant eating a meal and you want to ask for tap water, they're just gonna say, um, no, we don't have any tap water. We have spring water and sparkling. It's your choice. Each small water bottle will cost about two to two and a half euros. Right, it's not much. But if you have to buy it every single day, it gets a bit much. Oh my god, there is one thing that makes it so difficult for someone like me who only drinks spring water is that they mostly sell sparkling water. And I hate the taste so much. Nothing against them don't like the taste. Number four, go to local bakeries. Any travelers with small budgets, listen up. These bakeries will save your money. They are ridiculously cheap. A big piece of cake will just cost you about a euro fifty. A freshly made sandwich will just cost you another two euro to two and a half. And if you buy a breakfast worth of food for two, as well as sandwiches for lunch, then it'll just cost you like 11 euros. That is quite cheap. And the taste is yon good. Number five, you know, everybody likes to travel with their partners, but um, there are some things you have to watch out. I certainly noticed this because when I travel with my partner, we went to Germany and we were a teeny bit lovey dubby. And we just realized that people are staring at us, not even in a good way. It's almost like, uh, Keep it to yourself. We really weren't that bad. We were just acting like normal couples would. But no, if you can avoid doing that, we recommend it. Because the German are quite... It's not even often that you see German couples holding hands, kissing in public, smooching, like everyone anyway. I couldn't even tell if there are couples or if they are friends. So thanks everyone for watching this video. I hope you find it helpful. If you have had the same experience as me, just let me know in the comments. For now, if you want more travel tips like this one, just head over to compareholidaymoney.com and you will find everything you need. Bye!